What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to share this video. I got some news for you niggas today. It is being reported that Young Dolph Fran actually shot back and killed one of his killers. Now we all heard about the tragic death of Young Dolph, big time rapper in Memphis, flew back to his hometown, stopped by his favorite cookie joint and got gunned down inside that same cookie joint. Then murder left us all scratching our head. We was all left wondering who would want to kill Young Dolph? Who was behind this hit? How many people was it? And then the new details came out. We seen the still images of the suspects. It was two of them. One was holding the AK-47. Then we found out what kind of car it was in. It was a white Mercedes Benz. And then we found out that Young Dolph wasn't actually alone. We found out that Young Dolph had a friend with him. Our witness accounts of the shooting says that Young Dolph walked into the store on his cell phone along his friend who was also on the cell phone and that's when two men ambushed him and shot him up. Now Young Dolph's friend was able to return fire and you see the still shot of him chasing after the white Mercedes being shooting at him. Now the news today comes out the getaway car was found inside the neighborhood. The getaway car was found with the windows shot out and it was some evidence inside that car of a murder or somebody that was seriously hurt. Now, since the car has been found, there are a few things I wanna know. I wanna know who backyard was the car located in, how long was it there, and I wanna know does the car contain any DNA evidence, such as fingerprints, are there any cups in the car, food, spoon, force, anything that holds DNA, including even blood. That's what I wanna know. Cause I look at this case, these are not smart criminals. It was sloppy, it seemed rushed. That's why I don't think this was a planned hit. Because if it was a planned hit, you'll be a little bit more organized. You're going to dump the cars in the back of somebody's backyard. Don't burn it up. If you drove that car, your DNA is on that car. That's all I'm saying. If you drove that car, then your DNA evidence is inside that car. Now, back to the guy that was with Young Dolph. If it's true that he killed one of the shooters that killed Young Dolph, then he did his job. I mean, he failed in one aspect that he didn't fully protect Young Dolph's life because his life still was taken. You still let the bag get killed on your watch. But if you managed to hit or kill one of them dudes, then you basically solved the case. And I'll tell you why. If you managed to hit one of those guys, then there's blood in that car. That's called DNA evidence. And if you managed to kill one of those guys, now we have ID the shooter. We have ID the suspects. Now all the police gotta do is investigate. Find out who he know, find out who's with that guy. So the case is solved either way it go. But I look at the steel shots of the dude running after the car, shooting at him. I don't think that's security. That look more like a homie. That look more like a friend. And that dude wasn't properly trained. If you're there watching your dog blindside, you watching his backside, he's on a cell phone, then why the hell you on a cell phone as well? Somebody got to keep their head on a swivel. Somebody got to be alert. Because I know how it is when you're on that cell phone. It can be distracting. And somebody can hit you and you never seen it coming. And that's what happened to Young Dolph. Young Dolph never seen them coming. They zoned in on him. Perfect time. Him. He was killed and never saw the killers. Never seen it coming at all. And your homie, you with the strap. You there to protect my life. I'm somebody important. I got you on standby while I run to get me some cookies. The least you can do is turn back to the street. Don't talk to me, you be looking the other way. Find out who coming so I, so we can be alerted. I don't need you on the cell phone, Kiki kind as well. Somebody gotta be alert. So that's the only thing I fought Young Dolph at. He hired security. If he would've hired security, they would've been properly trained. That's why it tells me that this wasn't security. This was just one of his friends with the strap. You got my backside, you got my blind side. I'm gonna put my life in your hands. But the thing is, he failed. Anyway, guys, this your boy Cut to the Chase TV. And these are all my thoughts on Young Dolph Security allegedly killing one of the shooters. Leave a comment, share this video. Let me know what you think. I love you guys. Peace.